Hi, and thanks for watching Transit Talk. I'm Christina Brown Morrison, coming to you from Space Coast Area Transit's office, and I am joined with Clear Channel Outdoor, Brandon Darby, and Joe Smith, and today we are talking about transit advertising. So, Brandon, Joe, thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about what you do with Clear Channel Outdoor. Sure. Uh, my name is Brandon Darby. I'm here at uh, Clear, Channel Mel or Clear Channel Outdoor Melbourne office. And, um, you know, really my main focus is to get people's uh, message out uh, to the public. And I'm Joe Schmidt, also a account executive with Clear Channel. Uh, Clear Channel is a provider of different solutions to different companies, uh, from billboards to buses, uh, with transit being one of our favorites, and that's what we're going to be talking to you about today. So tell us, what, what is transit advertising? Well, I mean, just like what you can see behind me, um, it's, it's a rolling billboard. Um, what we do is we work with Space Coast Area Transit um, to put advertising, whether it's a, a full side, backside, a complete full wrap. Um, we customize campaigns uh, to get them out there to, uh, to the viewable drivers throughout the county. And Joe, why is it so effective? Well, one of the things that kind of sets it aside from other advertising is that it reaches people while they're out in the marketplace and they're ready to do these buying behaviors. Uh, also facilitates impulse buying. And so you see, you'll have people that will see your ad and immediately make that decision. It's a little bit easier than when you're sitting at home watching TV or uh, on your phone or, or working on your computer and you see that and you just can't immediately make that choice. So that makes a lot of sense and lots of businesses can use it. Tell us a little bit about the different businesses that, that this works for. Sure. Um, I mean, we found through throughout the years that it's it's worked for a myriad uh, number of businesses. Um, even just from what you can see behind me, um, we've got you know car dealership to real estate. Uh, we've got restaurants, uh, hospitals. I mean, it basically runs the whole spectrum of businesses throughout the county. So it, it's a good fit for everybody. And for businesses that are maybe newer or haven't done this before, what, what would you recommend for them? Well, and each client's going to be different. So, I mean, we offer solutions from that are very targeted to entire county. Uh, we also offer, we can work with budgets that are small to large. So, uh, I would say that it's a great introduction into the advertising uh, and a great way to get your message out for a, a very low cost. Great. So. We talked a little bit about what's behind us, the big, the big buses. What's the is is there anything else for transit advertising? Sure, I mean, yeah, you see the external spots um, that are that are behind us, but we do offer um, some spaces that are inside the buses themselves. So if you're wanting to uh, go after certain demographics, such as uh, like students at Eastern Florida State College who ride for free, um, you know, you, you can reach those people with uh, the spots that are inside the actual riders themselves. All right, well, speaking of the inside, let's go check that out. So now we're coming to you from inside the bus and we're talking about the other types of transit advertising that's available. Brandon, tell us a little bit about what people can do to advertise inside the bus. Sure, um, we have these interior cards available, like the ones that Joe and I are holding. Um, and so what these do, um, we put these together, um, the advertisement goes into uh, a number of different buses that run routes throughout the county and uh, they reach people that are riding the bus. Joe, who, who would you say that these work really well for? Well, they work really well for a lot of different people. Um, service industry is a, a very big uh, user of the bus system, uh, and also students. Uh, Eastern Florida State, uh, they get to ride for free, so if you're looking to get some of these niche uh, markets, you definitely want to use these. And, and as a whole, what you know, what are some success stories that you would say for people who have been businesses have been using transit advertising inside and outside of the buses? Sure. Um, I mean, we've we found that most of the campaigns that people put them together, whether it's external or internal, um, those clients really take ownership of those buses. And uh, we hear it all the time where they see their bus. And um, so we really think that speaks to the effectiveness um, and also obviously the visibility of the buses going around town. And how much would you say, that's a probably a popular question you get, how much does transit advertising typically cost? And that's going to vary based on the client. We work uh, individually with every client uh, with mixed budgets to meet their needs. And so if you have uh, a strict budget, we can definitely work with you. But 
I would say that the average campaign uh, is about 1200 per four weeks. But as I said, I mean, we, we'll work with you to, to meet your needs. So if somebody is interested in learning more about transit advertising, how can they find out more information from you? Sure, there's a couple of ways. Um, they can contact our office directly at 321-726-6611. Uh, um, or they can visit uh, the Space Coast Area Transit website, which is 321transit.com. And um, they go to the, the Connect Now uh, link, and um, they'll be able to find the options there. Great. Well, Brandon, Joe, thank you so much for being here today on Transit Talk. Once again, I'm Christina Morrison, and thanks for watching Transit Talk.